Hello, Australia. Um, thank you for having me at the AOPA, the virtual AOPA. Um, this is Belgium, um, and I'd like to talk uh, to you about our Swing Phase Lock 2, um, which is a dynamic knee system distributed by head to foot orthotics. I'm Flora Brzeek, I'm a CPO and a PT. So our swing phase lock system is a mechanical stance control orthosis and which gives back natural gait to people. As you can see here, it is used as a daily activity um, uh, orthosis. So this is what SPL can do. You can see here on the left, a lady walking with uh, a lot of trouble with a crutch. And this is her just after a few weeks of training with the SPL, just having a system that locks at the right time. It keeps her moving on um, on her own um, muscle activity and she's doing really well. So swing face lock is so much more than just a stance control orthosis. And um, as we saw, you can use it as a daily active orthosis, but it's also a rehab orthosis, a rehab device that can be used in a really early stage um, in rehab. It can be used for people with knee instability due to nerve damage, incomplete spinal cord injuries or neurological diseases. And the reason why we'd like to advise SPL as a, a rehab device is it's very important to um, avoid compensation gait and a decrease of general condition during rehab. So putting um, the SPL uh, really early in that process, in that rehab process, uh, we can train postural um, uh, an extension pattern of the body, um, which is very important to get back up and to get back in action. So you can do it with people with spinal cord injury, neurologic diseases, people who are really uh, for a long time in rehab, um, they can um, use SPL in the begin phase, in the beginning of their rehab as just a static device. And if they are evoluting, um, they are just, uh, they have the possibility to walk with an SPL. So what do we do during postural training? Well, we train the body extension um, to get in preparation for gait. Uh, what we ask people is just to stand up, head up, shoulder backwards, activation of back and abdominal belt muscles, and we stimulate, of course, the hip extensors. This is what we can do. And so we can do that in the locked position uh, of the satellite. So the SPL will be locked um, and by pushing on the red button. Using um, the SPL in the locked position will stimulate the proprioception of the upper body. You can see here a lady training and she's able to stand still and to control her upper body. So once we've done that, um, we can start the gait training. That's what SPL, of course, is made for. So you can see here that we can start with, uh, again, the body extension and we, that we can just um, start people to get back um, uh, in that gait pattern. So starting to walk with an SPL by having a, a really mechanical orthosis is that you will stimulate the whole body function. Um, you will activate every muscle chain. You will not exclude any muscles. And if there is um, any nerve stimulation that is um, need to be done, because of um, an eventual uh, recovery, well, we can do it with SPL by moving actively. The gait training will be done in the automatic position um, where the SPL will lock and unlock, and you will just pull up the little level, uh, green level. And once we've done the gait training, of course, we want our people back in action. This is just an example of a person who was in rehab for three years, no evolution, um, not a progress in any way, just a man that walks with a crutch after three years, um, not getting back to work um, or other things. And this is our man 
uh, walking on an uneven ground down a slope after 30 minutes of SPL training and without a crutch. So you really can get people back in action um, by giving them the SPL. And by giving that, you will increase the participation level. You will increase the general condition of people, mental health and quality of life. Basically, SPL is walking on own power. We are really using an SPL to get people back in action with their own muscle activity. And clinically wise, it's really a beautiful system, but technically wise, it is as well. As you can see here in that exploded view, you can see there are not many parts and as it is a mechanical system, it will be easy to maintain. So you can, as a CPO, replace all the uh, little parts by yourself. We have refurbished kits for that. So it's very easy and, and yeah, you gain a lot of time for the patient by doing it by yourself. Those are the parts you need to replace each year um, and you can order just refurbished kits if needed. So how does SPL works? Well, we are the only one that locks at the end of a swing phase without any action from ground reaction or ankle activity. How does it work? Well, you can see the little pendler falling into the locking system and it's all depending on the weight bearing line and on the position of the axis. So then you have a locked system where you can stand on and once you will just um, come to the end of the stand phase, you will see an unlocking uh, happening um, where the people can just swing through and then you just swing through the end of the swing phase and lock the system again. It's really beautiful, it's simple and it's easy. It is also a beautiful and smooth design. As you can see here, people are wearing this um, uh, above clothes um, and we recommend to use SPL in a KFO with a double action joint uh, because uh, the weight is much lighter, it's more comfortable and it's easier to adjust. We suggest to put a little stop on the reflection and a little spring on the backside. So the casting or scanning as you want um, is easy as well. We just recommend to do it weight bearing um, and to be to have the knee in the unlocked position just out of that zero degrees of extension. The construction is like you want to choose. You can just do it by a monolateral construction, which need to be done in pre-prick or lamination. And if you have a patient underneath 100 kilos, you can do it bilateral on the knee, monolateral on the ankle, um, if you have a valgus or varus. And for polypropylene constructions or people heavier than 100 kilos, you can just use it uh, bilateral uh, ankle and knee. Testing is always a success. Even it's, if it's not an SPL, you need you, you will know why, so you will make a better choice in the future. And if you are interested and you really want to test SPL, please contact Steve Joseph from Head to Foot Orthotics and he will be pleased to help you um, out with uh, a testing device. Well, I'd like to say that Swing Face Lock is a unique, a simple and an active solution. It's still distributed by Head to Foot Orthotics. And if you want some more information, some more instructions, some more videos, please let us know. And um, it will be um, my honor to help you uh, further out to learn more about Swing Face Lock. Take care over there. Take care, Australia, and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.